breaking news regarding the reopening of Texas, specifically one county in Texas. We're talking about Montgomery County. The judge there is finally getting the clarity he's been asking for. We've been following this closely for several days now. The Montgomery County judge calls the governor's order vague and says that he won't stand in the way of any business that wants to reopen tomorrow. But just in tonight, the Texas Attorney General is now weighing in and upholding the governor's executive order. Our senior reporter, Phil Archer, told us that could happen. He's live in Montgomery County now with an update. Phil? And the attorney general's opinion means that close contact businesses like gyms and beauty parlors won't be allowed to open tomorrow. But here in Montgomery County, at least one of those businesses is already up and running, and the owner says he intends to keep his doors open. He says it's a matter of survival. In New Caney, it's business as usual at the Scarlet Barbell Club. Owner Quentin Bryan opened the doors Tuesday after hearing Judge Keel announce he would defy the governor's order. You have people backed into a corner. They, you're, you're leaving them with no options. We're not seeing stimulus money. We're not seeing any of those small business loans. They're not getting to us. He says he's aware he's violating the county's current stay-at-home order, but he says he's willing to take that risk. It's not going to stop us. I'll sit in jail, I'll pay the fine, whatever we got to do. But right at this point, I'd rather pay the fine than close down. I, the fine is a drop in the hat compared to the bills that I have to pay. Mr. Bryan says social distancing is strictly enforced and that the machines are wiped down with sanitizer every two hours. And even though medical experts warn that opening some businesses too soon could reinvigorate the spread of the virus, Mr. Bryan says he has no choice. We have no other choice. It's not like we want to disobey the law, but at some point, enough is enough. If you can go into a movie theater, if you can herd people into the grocery store, if you can herd them into Walmart or a gas station or Bucky's, what's the difference? Earlier today, the sheriff's department told us they were awaiting the AG's order to begin enforcing the governor's executive order. At this point, it's not really clear what form that's going to take or when it's going to begin. County Judge Mark Keough was unavailable for comment today. Reporting live in Montgomery County, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News.